ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a very special video where my inside sources give me some rumours about Drayton Manor um, for the following seasons. Now this is a very exciting development, take this with a pinch of salt though, it is just a rumour at this stage, uh, so please take this with a pinch of salt, but I'm going to share my thoughts on what could potentially uh, come from this information. So, this is of course from an inside source, not going to say who it is but thank you you know who you are uh, but before we get started guys please like the video if you've loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here click that case bell so you miss youtube video and let's get straight into this one let's have a look at drayton manor and the rumor about 2022 slash 2023 so this is the official statement from my inside source Tending our attention to Looping's next phase of investment for the 2022 and 2023 season is work commencing on the triangles. You guys know who that, what that plot of land is. Of course, replacing the Vertigo attraction. And of course, it's that triangle area, uh, the patch of triangular grass opposite the Buffalo Coaster. It will be a new small themed land consisting of three flat rides, a sit-in food outlet, and one new family thrill coaster manufactured by Gus Lauer. Now, unfortunately, he does doesn't know uh, the make or model they're going with other than a section of the track is to go over the lake. The Buffalo Coaster is also to receive a makeover and join this new th uh, themed area. The theme is a medieval ancient period theme. The new coaster is rumoured to be named Viking so I believe construction on this area isn't planned to take place until November and then open at some point next season or perhaps the season after. The zoo is also planned to see development over coming months in the hopes to enhance the guest experience of 2022 season with new additions being added penguins and rhinos so there we are ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that is speaking about uh, the rumored additions and changes for 2022 maybe 2023 as well at Drayton Manor from my inside source you know who you are thank you for the information now let's first of all talk about the zoo stuff now penguins and rhinos that would be a one that would be two wonderful additions to the zoo uh, for next year if it's true and I think there'll be wonderful uh, installations for the zoo as well and it's nice to see the zoo getting work and I have had I've had a few comments on Drayton Manor videos in the past from people saying um, you know, oh, you know what? What's happening here? You know, is the zoo going to get some work done? Things like that. Do not fret. The zoo will get work done. From the sounds of it, from this rumor, uh, penguins and rhinos is apparently the rumor addition, rumored additions for the zoo uh, next year. So very nice there. Now let's move on to this rumor about this Viking area, this medieval area with the Viking roller coaster. Now, obviously, like I said, the inside source giving me basic information on this new land where the triangular grass is. Of course, you guys know where that is. It's the triangular patch of grass opposite the Buffalo coaster, replacing the Vertigo attraction, which closed for the last year now. Um, obviously, that was the sort of go ape uh, attraction that opened only a few years ago at the park. So very a very temporary attraction. Uh, but that whole triangular triangular grass area is being transformed into the medieval zone. Now of course we don't know what kind of make or model the coaster will be, but we will have the Gerslau Family Thrill Roller Coaster, of course by sound manufactured by uh, Gerslaura or Gerslaua, however you like to pronounce that. Uh, three flat rides, we don't know if they're family rides or thrill rides, we just know three, th uh, fa uh, three flat rides. Uh, and a sit-in food outlet. Now, obviously the sit-in food outlet, I'd be very interested to see what kind of style they go with that, if it's true. Um, obviously there's a few different types of restaurants you could go for you could go for the usual sit-in restaurant obviously this is a sit-in outlet but like the traditional sit-in restaurant or you maybe go with the uh, the food loop style so maybe um, sort of give it that medieval touch so it's like you're sitting in a massive medieval steakhouse and you've got like the um, the roller coaster restaurant style concept is like the um, ancient an ancient steel and metal that's been built to carry food in carts so a very medieval theme on a modern roller coaster restaurant style concept so I think that would be very interesting as well now obviously in terms of uh, flat rides there's a few different things you could go for here I mean I'd like to see them go with um, 
it like classic flat rides just to go with that medieval theme or maybe you go with the modern flat rides and give it that sort of touch that sort of uh, medieval touch and theme to it uh, maybe Zampola magic bikes that would be a great uh, family ride to go for uh, obviously you've got the wave swinger in adventure cove you've got the rumor disco coaster for adventure cove as well uh, you've got all these different things as well so I think there's a real opportunity here with a few things and obviously the roller coaster now I'm not too sure they're gonna put the roller coaster um, you know, like the inside source said uh, from his statement towards me privately, um, you know, there's a part of it that will go over the lake or expects to go over the lake. Um, so we're probably maybe expecting, I mean, obviously they've got a boomerang coaster already, so it can't be one of them. So maybe we're looking here at one of those Gerso bobsled coasters or something like that. Or maybe like a, maybe like a family launch coaster, you never know. Uh, but I think the, like the uh, inside source says the rumored name for this coaster is Viking, um, which it's, it, to be fair, you could do a lot of good stuff theming wise with that name uh, for the entrance. So I think there's a real big uh, opportunity with that but that is going to be it talking about this inside source information like i said take it with a pinch of salt but what do you think do you want to see this new uh, ancient medieval area in the triangular patch of grass do you want to see the zoo changes next year comment down below your thoughts but for now guys that is going to be it my name is coach chow kitlin the coast of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a great fantastic day